Hi and welcome to BMC Discovery 12.1. In this video, we are going to take a look on how to collect the record data from BMC Discovery Appliance. In this example, we will collect the data for one Unix server, one Windows server and one switch. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to set the Discovery Appliance into the record mode. In order to do that, go to Administration, open Discovery Configuration, scroll down all the way to the bottom. Here you have the recording mode with its default value of. Let's switch it on to record mode and click on apply. Once this configuration is updated, we will set the logs into debug mode. Let's go back to the administration. In the appliance section, click on logs. Here you can change the logging level for the service groups. If you like to know more about the service groups, please take a look at our documentation. For example, cluster manager can be used to diagnose cluster problem. Discovery can be used to diagnose discovery and data quality issues. Similarly, you can use the session logs to collect the raw discovery data used for diagnosing discovery and data quality issues. You can collect the pool and record data to reproduce the discovery problem on another test appliance. You can take a look at the discovery logs to troubleshoot the discovery target and you can take a look at the reasoning logs to troubleshoot the patterns. Here you also have an option to add additional marker text. For example, I'm going to add test 34 and click on add log marker. This will record the timestamp on all the logs which you can refer later to get the exact timestamp when you have started the testing of your use case. In this example, we will set reasoning, model and discovery into debug mode. Click on apply. Click on OK. In order to scan the Windows host, we also need to set the proxy into recording and debug mode. Let's go to manage, outpost and proxies. Click on Windows proxy. Open the proxy which is going to be used for this discovery scan. Here we will set log level into debug mode and recording mode into record mode. Click on apply proxy settings. Click on OK. Once this setting is updated, we can start our discovery run. Let's go to manage and discovery. Here you can see that the discovery is now running in the record mode. Click on add new run. Here we will add the IP range that we would like to scan. In this example, we are going to perform the scan via this particular appliance. Enter the label of the run. We will select the level as full discovery. We will enable the session logging. We are not going to select any company for this run and click on OK. Once the scan is completed, we will collect the record data. Here you can see that we have found two hosts and one network device. Let's copy the IP address. Go to administration. Click on apply and support. Click on create. Enter the name of the gather. Here we will select reasoning, discovery, model and proxy logs. We will collect them for today. In the scan data section, select the checkbox of record and pool data and session logs. Enter the IP address in the IP range which we have scanned. You can also collect more troubleshooting information from this page. Here you can see what are these logs represent and how can they help you to troubleshoot your use case. Let's come back to this page and click on create. Once the file is created, click on the file to download it. This is the structure of a downloaded file. In user tideway var, you can see the record data that got collected. And inside the log folder, you can see the logs which we have collected. Once the data is collected, please set the logs back into the info mode. You can just reset them to their default values. Let's go to manage, outpost and proxies. Switch the log level back to info mode and turn off the recording mode. Go back to the administration. Go to discovery configuration. Scroll down and turn off the recording mode. Click on apply. Thank you for watching.